What is up everybody, it's your boy Perverse Senpai here and today we're going to be watching some Jahisama Won't Be Discouraged episode 11. And I don't know if you guys are still with me, but this anime is pretty funny and you know there's a lot of reasons behind uh, for our character Jahi to become well a better person or a better demon you could say but i've been enjoying this kind of comedy part-time worker type of vibe anime and you know the people that react to this or i mean are seeing my reaction i hope you guys like the stuff that i'm re how i'm reacting it's just the way i am reacting for my first time watching the shows but with that if you guys do like my reaction of this episode please hit the like button it does help push like other viewers to see this and if you guys also want to and like the stuff that i put out hit the subscribe button it helps me out to know like there's some of you that you know want to stick around for a bit and i would say you probably should because i'm gonna be doing another anime review of this year 2020 21 wait i said 2020 twice fuck well with that said let's hop on to the episode you know, I actually grow my own plants at my house. Well, I used to like three years ago. That's how long I've been like growing plants. I would uh, fertilize them first on the floor. I mean, my dirt. Then I'll plant some tomatoes, jalapenos, because that's uh, mainly the only things I could grow in my area of my uh, city, you know? And tomatoes and jalapenos aren't that hard to grow if you actually maintain a stable schedule of watering them. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's this? Is is this a new opening? What? Yo, okay. Yo, okay, this is lit. Are they gonna be introducing more characters? Okay. I mean, I hope so. That'd be actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I think I like the first opening more than the second. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe I said it too early. Yo, okay. So is Jahi gonna try to do like grow her plants by using her magic power? I wonder if she could actually do that with her mana crystal that she has. That's like really small. But then wouldn't that affect like her being able to work at her job? Okay, so one thing that Jahi Sama doesn't understand I think is that the plants have to be like next to a window, you know, to get that sunlight, that vitamin D. <laughs> Jahi is like jealous of how managers doing. I mean, managers, <laughs> she can make the babies. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, Jahi sama. Now you know the struggles of the farmers. Oh no, does Jahi think really think that by showing its love that it's gonna grow faster? I mean, technically, taking care of your plants is showing love. So, but not like just saying words, you know. Alright, I think Jahisama is saying the wrong type of love. Only a masochist will accept that. Oh shit, okay, Jahisama is doing that extra stuff, man. <laughs> the landlord just seeing what the hell Jahisama is doing on this day. Hey, I actually finally grew, bro. That's nice. Yes, Jahisama, show some love. I mean, uh, I guess you're going over the board of love, but hey, it worked. Okay, you know what? Jahisama is learning her mistakes. Oh, oh, never mind. Dead plant. You failed, Jahisama. You failed as a farmer. Oh, okay, Jahisama. I think you're putting way too much for a baby plant. Oh my gosh, she went overboard. She bought so much. Jesus. I mean, I grew my plants, but I didn't buy that much products. Holy crap. Oh, let's see if it grew. <gasps> Yo, it grew pretty good. Holy crap. Okay, it got taller. It sprouted out more. It has more leaves. All right, Jahi, you did a good job. You actually saved it. There's times where you can't really save a plant when it's like in that condition, you know? But Jahi, respect. Hey, you know, it's kind of nice. Jahi, somebody actually like taking care of something else than just her. Usually we just see her, you know, talking smack to people or just trying to do something that would cause other people failure, I guess. Hey, it grew some vegetables. Yo, okay. It, you know, it'd be funny if there was like ghost peppers and not tomatoes. That would be hilarious. But I'm pretty sure these are tomatoes. Yo, okay, Jahi, somebody is really happy about this plant. Oh my god, it's oh I was just I was just fucking around, but I think it is like a ghost pepper. Well that's how I see ghost peppers as they're like all oh, red. <laughs> oh dude, I can't believe she actually grew a plant that was actually uh jalapenos or ghost peppers, as I would say. 
dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jahisama, why did you choose a wrong plant? Oh, okay, the manager got the tomato type, okay. Oh no, the window got broken. I mean, I guess the yellow duct tape doesn't really bother that much, right? Oh no, the landlord. Oh, fuck. What's the landlord gonna do? <gasps> She's gonna kick out Jahisama for breaking stuff? <gasps> oh no. <gasps> I'm gasping too much. Wait, what? The landlord is living here now? What the hell? Why? Wait, does the manager live in the apartments as well? Well, actually, I can't assume that the landlord lives in apartments now. <laughs> but what my apartment though? I mean, to be honest, that's true. <gasps> Yo, rent is free? Let's go. Dude, that's a huge win for Jahi. <laughs> Dude, Jahi Sama is so happy right now. <laughs> Dude, the fucking landlord just took the whole blanket to herself. <laughs> oh, yo, they're just gonna keep on firing over the blankets. Oh my god, dude. Is a is a landlord a pig? I mean, a mess. A messy person. That's what I meant to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jaisama. Anything that, you know, is good for Jaisama, she's like, acceptable. I bet the landlord isn't gonna do the housework at all. I don't know how the landlord actually hates her sister. I mean, the, the manager, she's the most kindest lady ever. Like, how do you hate that person? I actually wonder what the landlord is really mad about of her sis. Maybe the big sis overstepped her boundaries, maybe? Hey, it's a domestic, I mean, the masochist girl. I mean, uh, Druji. I mean, technically, Druji, she's gonna be Jahisama at any type of competition, especially the boob size. Well, unless the Jahisama, like, you know, transform. What the fuck was that noise? Holy fuck. Bro, even before Jahi was even gonna say anything, Druji just expects Jahi gonna say, like, you lowly scum, you did not collect enough crystals for me. <laughs> Comparison to Druji, Jahi is like worse than warm. She's like a bacteria. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I, uh, <laughs> Dude, Jahi as a lolly and then just saying that down towards someone that's like a mill form. I just. Oh, that's just too funny, bro. And especially if, when Druji is a goddamn masochist with these words that she just, you know, gets turned on by. Oh, yo, you know, that's pretty, actually pretty smart on Jahi's side part. Druji, I believe that she's strong. So she could actually defeat the magical girl. Oh, no, it's backfiring on Jahi. Now Druji ex expects Jahi to actually, like, defeat the magical girl. <laughs> oh, man, Jahi. She does not have no problem lying. Especially to Druji. And you know what? Karma's gonna get you because the magic girl is right outside. Oh damn, and she has that big ass mana crystal. Did Jahi just really tell Druji that it's her other underling, but it's a human, but it's powerful? And Jahi, I gotta hand it to you. Your lies just keeps on amazing me more and more. Now you made Druji a lot jealous, but hey. This helps uh, Druji collecting the mana crystals even more. But I feel bad for her employees. <laughs> yes, Druji. I mean, Jahi. You're able to Oh no! <gasps> she forgot the check! Whatever you do, do not flip the check. You don't want to look at it. You're gonna die. Of course, fucking landlord did not do any chores. No wonder the apartments are so fucking shitty. She's not that responsible, honestly. Dude, just hearing a manager's voice is like a god blessing to me, bro. She sounds so sweet, my guy. Man, dude, the manager doesn't have to apologize for shit. Dude, the fucking landlord needs to apologize if I think about it. Okay. Yo, okay, Jahi. Jahi is goddamn demanding a landlord to not be spoiled. Yo, Jahi is spitting some goddamn facts, my guy. Yeah, making the landlord think twice of what she's doing. I really hope it was the landlord that apologized and not the sister. Because I feel like the sister really didn't do anything wrong. You know, I'm happy that Jahi, you know, said something to the landlord. And not in a mean way, but in a realistic way of saying it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. 
No wonder because whenever the manager puts on the Yellow Sisters clothes, it expands. Hey, yo, but it does make that cat smile a lot bigger. <laughs> yo, she could wear my hoodie anytime. <laughs> oh, of course, Shahi would understand what the landlord is going through. Wait, hold up a second. That's the Dark Lord? I was expecting a guy, but this, this is better. Yeah. Dude, fucking Lolly. Dude, what happens if she turns into a MILF? <gasps> Yo. Dude, I think she'll surpass Jahi even more. I mean, I like the red hair. Definitely like the red hair. Oh, and she got them horns, bro. Yo, uh, this episode was kind of a more of a refreshing start, you know? After we've seen so much times of Jahi struggling, we were able to finally see Jahi to actually do something, well, good and successfully accomplished. But even though that happened, at the end, she got betrayed by her plant. I actually was thinking that it showed like it was like some sort of tomato and I was just like making a small joke how it could be like a ghost pepper because in my life or I've seen in person uh, I've seen ghost peppers and they're like that same shape and color but as soon as Jahi ate it and started turning red um I was laughing my ass off because I was not actually expecting it to be a ghost pepper or some type of spice of chili but hey you gotta give Jahi Sama some respect she did mistakes along the way of growing that plant but she somehow made it grow and it does another symbolism of character development on Jahi Sama even though the plant betrayed her and in the second half where the land Lord went to Jahisama to uh, stay over because she got in a big fight with the manager and to me 100% the manager was not in fault. Uh, the Yiddo sis was just being a lot more spoiled. So you know what? I'm behind the manager. Fuck the landlord. The manager is in the right. Even if the manager actually wore the Yiddo sisters shirt. And we all know why the Yiddo sister is going to be mad. Because the manager's big tit. Oh, that's a weird audio cut. Oh, well. But on the next episode, <laughs> we're going to get something even way better. We're actually going to finally get to see the Dark Lord. And as you guys saw, it is a lolly with bigger horns, red hair. Let's just hope that she's able to transform just like Jaihisama. Because then that's just going to be just an extra 10 points right there. It's a 10 out of 10 for me right there. We got to get a new change of pace of the opening and the ending. As I would like to say, I like it when they do change the openings and endings if it's a longer seasonal. And in this opening, they get to introduce uh, some new characters as well. But I feel like the first opening and the first ending are just something that I just really like a lot more. But let's see at the very end of this season if I actually like the second one more or the first one more. But that is all I got to talk about for this review. If you guys did like my reaction of this episode, hit that like button. It does help me a lot in pushing other viewers to see this. And if you guys do enjoy the content that I put out for this channel of mine, hit the subscribe button. You know? It doesn't hurt to stick around for a bit. And if you guys do like it, maybe hit the notifications to get the next uh, upload video that I put out for this channel. And you know, here's a side note. I'm actually working on three different AMVs. Star Wars, the YouTube Rewind, and maybe something else of addition of a remix anime. But I'm still trying to figure things out the music wise i already know what i want to put for the animation but it's just the music that i'm always having a hard time choosing but that's pretty much all i have to say it's been your boy for the senpai and i'll see you guys on the next episode